What's up everybody? Let's go ahead and just jump in today's video, shall we? All right, so last week I did a video on the awk command because, well, reasons. But today, let's go ahead and take a look at sed. Uh, sed is another tool I use quite often, usually when I'm in Vim, but it is another cool tool. So let's go ahead and launch a terminal. We're going to go ahead and clear the screen and zoom in here. Um, and just like before, I have already created a directory uh, with a few files in it that we are going to manipulate. <laughs> oh, I love to manipulate stuff. So <laughs> let's just go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and cat animals.txt, shall we? So right now we can see I've got a file that says I have a cat. The cat is very cute. In all reality, I have four cats and all four of them are very cute, but we're just going to go with one for today. Let's go ahead and use sed to do some little to do a little manipulation on this file. Uh, sed is basically a stream editor, sed stream editor, um, and basically it's a utility that kind of parses and transforms text from input streams or files, um, stuff like that. Um, it's basically a tool used for performing text substitutions, deletions, and other manipulations. I just like that word manipulations. So in this first example, this is a pretty basic example. You guys probably all know how to do this. If you use Vim, I know for a fact you know how to use this and how to do this, but let's just go ahead and take a look at it anyway. First things first, we are going to invoke the stream editor by using the sed command. And once we do that, we are going to double quote and we're going to say S for substitute. And then we are going to give it the forward slash. So again, this is what the substitution string looks like. Basically, we're going to do that <clears throat> and then G if we want global. And so this is kind of the format for the substitution command and set. So let's go ahead and go back and we're going to go ahead and do S for substitute. And we're going to say cat and we're going to switch that to dog and we're going to give it the G for global, meaning any instance of cat in this file is now going to be output as dog. We're going to go ahead and give it the double quote and we are going to say animals.txt. So again, we are going to invoke the stream editor. We're going to run the substitution command and we're going to substitute cat for dog. And we're going to do that globally in the animals.txt file. Let's go ahead and hit enter. We can see I have a dog. The dog is very cute and I do have a dog and yes, she is very cute as well. Um, so let's go ahead and cat that file again though. So if we cat the file, we can see that the file stays the same because sed isn't going to change the file. Sed is going to change the output of that file. So we can basically take that file and leave it as is, but we can change or pick and choose stuff out of that file um, for different purposes. So kind of a cool thing about sed. So let's go ahead and clear the screen again, and let's move on to our second command. If we do an ls again, I've got uh, sample.txt. That's the second file we we're going to be using. Now this, this uh, command is going to be similar to the first one, but instead of substitution, we are going to be doing a little bit of deletion. Um, so what we want to do is we want to cat out sample.txt. Um, you can see it's four lines, pretty basic. It says this line will stay, please delete this line. Another line that stays, delete this one too. So if you have any brain in your head, you can understand that what we're going to do here is we are going to leave two of these lines alone and we are going to delete two of these lines. Can you guess which two we're going to leave alone? Yay, one and three, gold star for you. Two and four are going to go away. Let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to start again with invoking the stream editor with the sed command. We are going to do the double quote. This time we are not doing a substitution, so we are going to go ahead and leave out that S. We are just going to start with the forward slash. Now here's the one that, where it gets a little bit tricky. We want to delete two lines, two and four. Let's go ahead. What do we see that's similar in both those lines? I see delete in both those lines problem is we have a capital delete and a lowercase delete. So what we need to do is we need to give the square bracket, capital D, lowercase d, closing square bracket. And then we can finish typing delete. We give it the, or the uh, second forward slash, we give it D, and then we go ahead and close that. And we do that on sample.txt. So again, we're invoking the stream editor. We are now taking anything that has this string of characters right here, capital or lowercase, E-L-E-T-E, -E, a.k.a. delete, and we are deleting those lines. Let's go ahead and hit enter, and we can see this line will stay, another line that stays. Excuse me, one sec. So... Again, now, if we cat out sample.txt, we can see that the file has not changed. Just the output from that file has changed. Just the text that's been outputted has been manipulated. <laughs> Again, with the manipulation word. Let's go ahead and clear that screen. We are going to go ahead and jump on to the last command. This one is um, quite a bit more in-depth. 
We are going to kind of break it down a little bit more. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm not going to go too heavy on the uh, explanation, um, but I do kind of want you to understand what's going on because it does just look like a bunch of gobbledygook. So let's go ahead and cat out the last file, which was swap. .txt. And basically you can see we've got a file, two lines that says, hello world from bash, set is powerful. So let's go ahead and run this last command. And as you can tell by the name of the file, swap, we're probably gonna be swapping something, right? So what do we do first? Uh, well, first things first, we actually invoke the stream editor. Good for you. Now we're gonna give it a flag though. We're gonna give it the dash E, not dash D, dash E. Basically, what the E does is it enables extended regular expressions. Excuse me one second. <clears throat> Sorry, when I talk too much, my throat gets a little dry. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to start keeping a maybe a cough drop in my mouth or something when I record. Uh, that might sound a little gross, though. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So we have said, invoking the stream editor. We have the dash capital E to... Um, enable extended regular expressions. Then we're going to again do the double quotes. We're going to give it the S because we are substituting. Now I want you to remember from the first command, remember the format or the, for the substitution command, we have for the S forward slash whatever forward slash whatever. Remember that layout? I want you to pay attention to this command and tell me what you see. So we have S again for substitution. We have the forward command or the forward slash. We're going to have the caret symbol. We're going to have an opening parenthesis, square brackets, colon, A-L, or <clears throat> A-L-N-U-M, colon, close the square brackets, and, oops, excuse me, plus, and close the uh, parenthesis. Okay, that's first, right? Then we are going to have another parenthesis. We are going to give it the dot star. And we are going to do two square brackets. We're going to do colon space, colon, close those square brackets and close that parenthesis. We are going to do a third parenthesis. We are going to do square brackets. We are going to do A, L, N, U, M again. Excuse me, colon, square brackets. <clears throat> then we're going to do plus. And then we are going to close that parenthesis. We're going to give it the dollar sign. And then we are going to give it a forward slash. <clears throat> now we're going to give it a backslash three, a backslash two, a backslash one, and close those double quotes, and then swap.txt. Now, remember when I say and watch the format, because the substitution format, well, we have the S, we have the slash, and we have a bunch of stuff going on here. We have another slash, and then we have some more stuff going on, and then we have text. So basically, this swap is basically going to be a substitution. Well, what is all this mess that's going on? Well, basically, the caret symbol is talking about the first word. It's the beginning of the line. A-L-N-U-M is alphanumeric. Any alphanumeric character, letter, number, whatever. So at the beginning of the file, any word in, that has an alphanumeric, um, that's basically what this is calling right here. That, that's just calling the very first word. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, in the in the line, it matches the first word. That's just kind of a very simplistic way of saying it. I would get more technical, but I don't want to. <laughs> so um, right here is basically any word the dot star, and with uh, any word with a space after it. So this is going to take any word between the first and surprise surprise this right here this a l n u m again alphanumeric dollar sign that is going to be the last word. So this space right here is going to take any words in between that, whether it's one word, two word, three word, four word, five word, hundred words, whatever. It's going to take all those and count it as one. Um, and then basically we are going to, so again, this is the very first word. This is everything between the first word and the last word. And this is the last word. So that's one and then counts this all as two. And this is three. And then we have the substitution. So we have substitute, the forward slash, this is the what we want, and then this is what we want to substitute for. Substitute it for. Can you guess what 321 would be? That would be taking 321. So basically we are going to take the first word and switch it with the last word in every line. So right now we have hello world from bash and set is powerful. When we run this said command on the swap.txt file and we hit enter, oops, what did I leave out? I left something out. <clears throat> 
Uh, let's see here. Set expression of one character, undetermined S command. So what did we leave out? Uh, let me look over this real quick. Um, blah, 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 blah. We got the dollar and sign. We got the forward slash. We got the three, two, one. Um, oh, geez, that's what I forgot. Okay. <clears throat> Mm, got to pay attention to what you're doing, Jake. Um, and then we get that. So again, we had the, um, I left out the last uh, forward slash on there and swap back text. So now again, this is the substitution format. What we want, what we want it to out, or what we have and what we want it to output. And we have the last forward slash and then swap dot text. So then if we hit enter, there we go. Now we can see bash world from hello, powerful as said. So we basically took these words in each line and we swapped them didn't matter if there was one word between them two words between them whatever it took the first and last word and it swapped and left the other one the same so what do you think would happen if we did uh two three one basically what that's going to do is going to give us world from bash hello <clears throat> is powerful said so basically you can take the text and you can manipulate the output of it you can change it you can get rid of it you can do all this kind of stuff um, just some cool stuff you can do with said uh, it's really powerful really cool tool to understand so if you don't know much about said i really highly recommend reading up on it you can just check out the man page for said there's a lot going on there um, you can look up said online youtube there's all kinds of stuff all over the place so yeah said is a cool tool right up there with awk i like them both um, so i hope you found this interesting uh useful maybe if you didn't i'm sorry sorry about your luck <laughs> but i hope you guys uh enjoyed it and had a good time so have a great rest of your day great rest of your night stay safe and god bless